Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to create a Power Automate flow that will save a Salesforce report to SharePoint. So before we start building our flow, the first thing that we need to do is schedule the Salesforce report. So I'm in Salesforce and I have this test report. And in order to schedule it, what I need to do is click the arrow next to the edit button here and go to subscribe. Now here's where I choose my frequency. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose daily and I'm gonna leave it at 2 p.m. to send. And now I need to attach this report as a file. So I click attach file and I'm given two options. So the first is a formatted report, which will send as a .xlsx file. And this will, will include um, the report header groupings and filter settings. If I want details only, which is just going to give me the, the, the data in rows, um, it will send as a .csv file. So I'm just going to go ahead and stick with this .xlsx file and click Save. You do have some other options for adding some conditions. Um, for example, if your report meets certain conditions, um, then you'll be notified when those conditions are met. But I'm going to leave this without conditions and click Save. Now I have my report and that's going to send to um, myself per my schedule that I set up. Now we can go into Power Automate and we're going to create a automated cloud flow. We're going to skip the name for now, but we will select our trigger, which is going to be when email arrives. And the specific one that we want is this when a new email arrives, V3, Office 365, Outlook, so we select that and click Create. Now we need to customize this filter. I'm sorry. We need to customize this trigger by selecting Show Advanced Options. And this is sending to myself. So I don't really need to put my email in this two line, but you can. And then the From. Now, the way our Salesforce instance is set up is that Salesforce is going to send that report to me and it's gonna actually come from me. So I'm gonna select my name and then I want to change includes attachments to yes. And then the subject filter, report results. So I'm gonna go ahead and do report results. And then in parentheses, it's going to include the name of your report. So in this example, my report name is test report. So report results, parentheses, test report. And now when that e email with the report arrives, my flow will be triggered. So now we need to add one more step, which is going to be the create file. So create file and it's a SharePoint connector. Here it is right here, we'll select that. Now you can go ahead and choose your site address. This is wherever you want to save to SharePoint and then your folder path. You also need to choose your folder that you want to save it to. And then the last thing you need is the file name and file content. So if you select file name, you are given this option here to insert parameters from a previous step. So what we're looking for is the attachment name, dynamic content. So we're going to need to click see more. And then here it is, attachments name. Now, when we do that, it's Power Automate is automatically going to apply and apply to each action because um, in this case, anytime a new email arrives with that attachment, then it's going to do this, do these actions for each of those attachments. So we need to finish setting up our create file action because we still need to put in our file content. And so the name of that dynamic content or parameter is going to be attachment content. So we click see more and we find attachments content, insert that. Now we can go ahead and click save and our flow is ready. So now, when that report gets scheduled, Power Automate will run when the email is received. It's going to grab that attachment, and save it as a file in SharePoint. And you can take it a step further by setting up a notification in SharePoint 
you want to get notified or you want others to get notified because you're also going to, um, perhaps it's a shared um, folder, which in this case it is, and others can get notified um, if you set that up directly in SharePoint. So I hope you found this video helpful. And as always, we will see you in the next video. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.